Mazda CX-9 2023 review, very appropriate for certain people. The 2023 Mazda CX-9 doesn't always meet all the right criteria. It's not the roomiest or most efficient three-row car, nor does it have the latest and greatest car technology like some of its rivals. If you are simply looking for an SUV that fulfills the basics of family transport there are better options out there for comparison, however, for the buyer who values the pleasure of driving perhaps someone who already has a Miata in their garage the CX-9 is a family carrier that doesn't will make you feel sacrificed. The CX-9's lack of legroom is made up for by agility and speed, and for a select few, that makes this SUV a top choice. It has sleek headlights and a beautiful grille, which gives it a sporty look up front, and a body that's not too big or boxy, it's almost like an oversized CX-5, and that's a good thing. The high-end signature model tested here has titanium grey grille inserts, 20-inch alloy wheels and clean machine grey paint. The interior feels very Mazda with a driver-focused layout and an abundance of high-quality materials, gorgeous parchment Nappa leather with quilted inserts covering the seats in this case, accented by real rosewood interior trim all around. Comfort. The CX-9 has a firm suspension that makes it more dynamic, but also tougher than some of the alternatives. The turbocharged four-cylinder engine can rumble a bit when the tachometer sweeps higher too, and is clearly audible throughout the cabin. The front seats are soft and supportive but almost feel like you're sitting on them rather than in them and the second-row captain's seats, oddly, fit better. And although this is a three-row crossover, the second and third rows are among the narrowest in the class. Normal-sized adults are not likely to be comfortable in the back row for very long. Technology. The CX-9 remains technologically modest, due to its age. Three analog gauges adorn the instrument cluster and a 10.3-inch infotainment screen is standard across the range, but it's not touchscreen. Mazda still opted for the dial on the center console which makes navigating Apple CarPlay and Android Auto a little clunky, but it works well. There's also a wireless phone charger right behind the shifter which is standard across models. Performance and handling. Few three-row cars drive as well as the CX-9, and even some of the more expensive luxury options can't match it. Boasting the huge low torque of its turbocharged four-cylinder engine, the CX-9 has more than enough power despite being technically smaller than some of its competitors. The engine is mated to a six-speed transmission that feels old by today's standards, but still shifts steadily. But it's more than just power, Mazda tuned the suspension for agility. The CX-9 turns with minimal body roll and excellent poise. Steering is quick and accurate and provides excellent feedback from the road to your fingertips. Security. Mazda's iActiveSense safety suite is standard on every CX-9 trim, 
and includes things like automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, rear cross traffic warning, lane keeping assistance, lane centering, and even recognition of traffic signs. Just flick the cruise control button on the steering wheel and the CX-9 cruises comfortably with ample steering assistance and superb course centering technology. Price. For the Indonesian market, the price for the Mazda new CX-9 FWD is 887,700,000 Indonesian rupees, OTR Jakarta. For the new CX-9 AWD trim, starting from 958,800,000 Indonesian rupees, OTR Jakarta. There is a Kuro edition type for FWD whose price starts at 889,900,000 Indonesian rupees.